All right, we've been running into a problem with the sheet sets that have been knee transmitted to me for our commercial design. The uh, zip file for your entire project is huge in a lot of cases. 14 megabytes, 15 megabytes. And the problem is with one drawing, and that's the site plan. So I'm going to show you how you can reduce the size of the site plan uh, significantly. What I have is uh, one of the students' site plans open in AutoCAD. And um, you can see that uh, when I show you the window uh, listing of uh, drawing files, that the file is about 9 megabytes in size. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a change. Uh, we're going to use purge. But before we do purge, we're going to remove a portion of the site plan that's not required. So the question is, when you go to model space, you'll see there's like a lot of information there. How do we know what to delete and how do we know not what not to delete? Here's what I do. Uh, in my layout, I create a rectangle that is larger than the viewport itself. doesn't matter what layer it's on. And then I use the change space command to transfer the rectangle I just drew from paper space. And press enter. And press and uh, change it to model space. So what it does is it scales it. So when we go back to model space, you'll see there it is. I'm going to change the color of it just because it's hard to see. Um, Uh, my properties isn't working very well. This is AutoCAD 2011. So uh, what I'm going to do is just going to put it on a layer that has some color, like perimeter. Here it is. So um, what I do is then use the trim command and pick the rectangle as a cutting edge. And I'm going to go around and trim away. whatever's not needed. Now in the case of some things like this, you may have to zoom in. And it may take a second or two. But I want to trim away everything that's crossing. Okay, oh, there's one right there. And trimming away, I find using crossing works much better because we tend to, in drawings like this, have overlapping objects. And let's see, there's this. If you don't get everything, it's not the end of the world. There we go. Now, once you've trimmed away everything that is crossing line, you can use the erase command to erase away all the pieces you don't need. If you want to leave a few extra things there, that's OK. And by removing some of this geometry, you are significantly going to reduce the size of the file. I'm just using the erase command and crossing, trying to clear out some of the dead weight here. And like I said, if there are a few little bits and pieces left, that's not the end of the world. But it's important you don't delete anything inside the rectangle because that'll affect what you see in your viewport. Do a zoom extents. 
looks good. So I'm going to go back into your layout. Everything looks fine. If you anticipate needing any of that information, then you should uh, not trim away or delete that information. But uh, now I'm going to use the purge command, PU, and press enter. I'm going to make sure that um, purge nested items is selected. So it's checked off. And I'm going to click on purge all, and then click purge all items. It may take a second. And then click close. Now I'm going to save the drawing. And when we have a look over here at our list of files, there's our drawing file as it's been saved. It's 1381. The original file, which is the backup file, was 9 megabytes. So we've significantly saved uh, some space here. Okay, so you need to do that in order to reduce the size of your file so that you can uh, better uh, e-transmit. Okay, and that's it.